Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. For my teddy bear's picnic blanket, I'm going to have a father teddy bear cooking a barbecue. So today I'll be showing you how to crochet the barbecue apron with these barbecue utensils. The size for the large apron using eight ply wool is ten and a half centimetres by eight centimetres or four inches by three inches. The smaller one, this one here, using four ply crochet cotton, is six and a half centimetres by six centimetres, or two and a half inches by two and a quarter inches. That doesn't count the straps to go over the shoulder. I'll be using four ply crochet cotton today. I've got white for the apron and the grey and the red for the barbecue utensils. I've got a darning needle to weave in my ends, scissors, a 1.5mm crochet hook and sewing thread and a needle to stitch the apron and the barbecue utensils together. We start at the bottom of the apron. I start with 23 chain. For row one, I miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet, I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, the third stitch from the hook, and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and that's a half double crochet. So I work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. Now that's one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row two, we start with two chain and turn our work. And we work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined half double crochet, we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches.
When we've got two stitches left, we work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3, we start with 2 chain and turn our work and we work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. And that's row 3 complete. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn our work. We work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we'll work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. So after our joined half double crochet at the beginning we're working one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn and we work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 6 we start with 2 chain and turn our work. We work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we'll work a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches.
I'm working one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row seven, we start with two chain and turn, and we work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 8 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and work a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches. So I'm working 1 half double crochet into each stitch till I have two stitches left. and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. And that's to the end of row 9 finished. For row 10 we start with 2 chain and turn our work. We work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we'll work a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches. Sorry about my voice, I'm getting over the flu.
I'm working a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 11 I start with two chain and turn. I work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and I'll work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. I'm working my joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 12 I start with two chain and turn. I work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the apron done. We don't fasten off, we're going to do a neatening row. So we start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch around except in the corners where I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet into the corner stitches. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet we put our hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. We just find a suitable place to put our hook not too far from the, the edge. Into the corner stitch I'm working one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then I work a single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. A single crochet, a chain and a single crochet into that corner stitch and then a single crochet into each stitch up to the top. So I'll do that and I'll meet you when I get up to the top. Now I'm back up to the top. I'm not going to do my neatening row along the top. Now for the first strap I work about 10 chain. And fasten off. And then I join my cotton to the last stitch along the top. And I'll work 10 chain for the second strap.
dann fahrst du noch. And that's the barbecue apron done, except for the pocket. Now for the pocket here, we start with 16 chain. We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row two, we start with two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. And for row three, we start with two chain, turn our work and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. And that's the pocket done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row I work a slip stitch into each stitch down to the corner. For a slip stitch I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. So hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and straight through the loop on my hook. And slip stitch into the corner stitch. 
and then work one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. A single crochet is a double crochet in the UK. I'm crocheting over the tail. I'm holding it against my work and crocheting over the top of it. Now I'm to the corner and I work one slip stitch into each stitch up the side. Slip stitch into the top and fasten off. And that's the pocket done. Now I'll start on the barbecue fork now. I'll be starting on this stem part. So using my grey I work seven chain. I miss the first chain and I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch to the end. For a slip stitch I put I hook into the stitch, bring up a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. and fasten off. For this fork part, I start with eight chain I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three chain. And now I'm going to work a slip stitch into the next stitch and through the end of the stem that I've just crocheted. So I put my hook through the next stitch and also through that last stitch at the end of the stem and I slip stitch through there. And that will join the fork part to the stem. Then I slip stitch into each stitch to the end.
and fasten off. And that's the fork part done except for the handle. For the handle I'll be using red. I start with four chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining chain. A single crochet is a double crochet in the UK. So one single crochet into each of the remaining three chain. and fasten off. Now we'll start on the egg flip now. The stem part is worked the same as the stem part for the fork. We start with seven chain We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each chain to the end. and fasten off. For this end part, using my grey, I work four chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. A single crochet is a double crochet in the UK. For row two we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. Row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. And for row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. Now we start on a neatening row. We work one slip stitch into each stitch down the side. One slip stitch into the first stitch along the bottom. Now we're going to join our top part to the stem. We slip stitch into the next stitch and through just the bottom of our stem to join them together. and then slip stitch into each stitch up to the top.
and fasten off. And that's the egg flip done except for the handle. The handles work the same as the handle for the fork. So using my bread I work four chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. A single crochet is a double crochet in the UK. and fasten off. And there's the handle. Now for the tongs, I start with 20 chain. I'm using my grey. Now I work a join double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a join double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, hook in to the fourth chain from the hook and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take my hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook in to the same stitch that fourth chain from the hook and bring up another loop yarn around the hook, take my hook with the yarn through the first two loops, yarn around the hook, take my hook with the yarn through the remaining loops. Then I work three chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the joined double crochet. Then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. Now I slip stitch into the last stitch, work three chain and work a join double crochet into that last stitch. And fasten off. And that's all my pieces done. I'll just weave in the ends and we'll be back to put it together. Now there's all my pieces. I've got the apron, the pocket, the egg flip, the fork, the tongs and the two handles. The first things I'll do is attach the pocket to the apron towards the bottom. 
and I'll also stitch a couple of smaller pockets down there. So I stitch around the sides and the bottom and then I'll just do a couple of lines of stitching just so I've got little sec sections to put the barbecue tools in. And I'll attach the handles to the fork and to the egg flip. And for the tongs, I bend them in half and I'll just do a row of stitching along just from that top part there, there to the end just to keep them together. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now there's the parts put together. Then I just put the tools I'm going to into the pocket and I attach the apron to a teddy bear. I've got a purple teddy bear here so I'll just attach the apron to it and I'll be back to show you the finished bear with the apron on. And there's the finished apron and barbecue utensils. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.